guys so today I want to do something a little bit different I'm so close to a thousand subscribers which is absolutely crazy to me I started this channel just for fun and it's crazy to me that that many people want to come hang out with me and just enjoy animals together so thank you guys so much because of that I realized that you guys don't really know much about me other than I have a lot of reptiles and an accent so I thought it'd be kind of fun to share a little bit more about myself with you guys so here we go so my name is Danielle I am 25 years old I'm five foot six and a half and that half is very important I get a lot of questions about my accent and where it's from Alabama is where I live and where I've grown up so that's where that comes from. I am married and I have two stepchildren and me and my husband have one kid together. They've kind of been glimpsed at in past vlogs like especially at Repticon and I've mentioned them a few times. But yeah two stepkids and a toddler. Speaking of which you guys probably don't know this because I only ever film from here up but I am pregnant. We are having another little boy in November so that is exciting. As of today, I am 25 weeks. So if I go MI at the beginning of November, that is why I'll be off having a kid. And how do we go from that? Um, my favorite color, I always say it's purple. Really, I don't have a favorite color. I don't really like yellow, so sorry if you like yellow, but I've just never really been a fan. But basically, I like all the other colors. <laughs> I'm the most organized, messy person, and by that I mean I like to have things planned out. I like to bullet journal, and I use the planner in my phone, and I like to have a plan for things, but if you were to look around my room, it looks like an actual hurricane hit it. It's always a mess, and I don't like to clean at all but I like to be organized. I really like art. I like to draw and paint. Uh, I mentioned that bullet journal. I do draw a lot in that and I used to paint all the time. I don't really have as much time now but those are things that I really enjoy doing. I absolutely love playing video games. Right now my husband and I are playing ARK but in the past I played World of Warcraft for probably five or six years. Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout, I love Borderlands. Anything like that I absolutely love. And it's not a video game, but I also really liked to play Magic, the card game. I don't really play as much now, but I was the kind of person that was always going into card shops to buy new cards and looking for the best ones for my deck. But yeah, usually in my free time, I am playing games. As for music, I really like pop and rock. I'm not the biggest fan of country and like the really oldies kind of music, but other than that, I'll listen to basically anything. The first pet that I ever had was a gray tabby cat named Kit Kat. And my grandma gave her to me when I was probably four or five years old, somewhere around in there. And of course, I accidentally let her out of the house and she ran away and my grandma was really sad. And my first ever reptile, even though it's an amphibian, was the red-bellied toad. I've said in previous videos that my parents weren't the biggest fan of reptiles. My dad actually is the one that let me and my brother have a tank full of red-bellied toads, and they were amazing, but my dad did all the feeding and the dusting of the crickets, and he set up this really cool 20-gallon tank that was all like planted dirt and everything on one side and they had like a plexiglass divider where they could go and actually just swim in the other side. It was really cool. My dad's a very artistic person so he enjoyed setting up that tank and that's probably why I enjoy setting up tanks so much. Since my whole channel is about animals and I think I've gotten a couple of new animals since my intro video but an updated count I have 11. So I have two dogs, a leopard gecko, a gargoyle gecko, a crested gecko, a bearded dragon, two ball pythons, a corn snake, my beta, and a 55 gallon tank with a gaggle of fish in there. Absolutely love going hiking, admittedly on the easy and moderate trails, never the hard ones. I like to have a trail in front of me, but I do love doing it as long as it's fall because I am not the biggest fan of summer. I live in the south and it gets very very hot here and I don't like to sweat at all and I also love going to caves it's always cold in caves and they're so cool and speaking of getting out I've done some traveling my husband and I actually lived in South Korea for a year so that was really cool I miss it all the time 
and we've gone to some really cool places and really cool vacations including like the Bahamas and Niagara Falls and stuff like that but my absolute favorite vacation of all was going to Thailand where we got to play with tigers and ride elephants and swim with elephants it was the coolest thing in the entire world and I wish I could go back but that will always be my favorite vacation. My last job was actually at a dental office, which was kind of cool. I did all the front desk, billing, insurance, receptionist, scheduling, phone calls, all that at the dental office. And it was kind of cool because it was right when me and my husband moved back to the area and I was looking for a dentist and I walked in and my hygienist basically offered me a job. She told me to bring my resume and within the next three days I was starting my first day at that job which I absolutely loved and the only reason I left is because of you know family and this guy's coming and I just didn't need to work there anymore but I do miss that job it was definitely by far my favorite job that I've had so I have three really big fears the first of which and the biggest of all of them is deep water I know how to swim but if my feet can't touch the bottom of any body of water that I'm in I panic but when me and my husband went snorkeling in the Bahamas I had a full-blown panic panic attack like the kind that makes you sick and nauseous and headachey afterwards even though I could see the bottom of the water and I had a snorkel and a life vest and a floaty and swimming shoes like I had everything I still panicked and my husband had to basically be next to me so I didn't drown I guess but in the end I was definitely glad that that is something that I got to experience it was just absolutely terrifying my next big fear is ladders and I'm not talking like bolted down ladders or anything like that I'm talking the wobbly triangular ladders that I feel like I'm gonna fall off of I cannot get past the third rung of those ladders because I just get really really scared and my third biggest fear is birds I think birds are absolutely beautiful and majestic and they are also little t-rexes and they freak me out especially big birds like ostriches and emus I have never petted them at petting zoos because I feel like they are going to bite my whole finger off I don't know it's just something about their eyes and the way they just kind of walk around and they're little dinosaurs and I just can't do it but hopefully I'll one day be able to get over that fear because I would really like to have a bird eventually one day. I've gotten a couple comments about my tattoos, especially this one right here because it sticks out some. I actually got that in Korea and that was an adventure. We had to go across the country and our taxi driver did not speak English so that was a very stressful situation but we got there and I'm very happy that I got it. But I do have seven tattoos and my ears are pierced a few times. They are also stretched to a double zero. I know some people don't like the look of that and that's okay. I absolutely love my ears and my tattoos and everything. As soon as I have this baby I already have plans to get more tattoos and another ear piercing up here but yeah I actually did really good in school I graduated second in my class with a 4.0 actually it was above a 4.0 but I guess they can't really put that on the thing or whatever I also had a 4.0 in college um, I have an associate's degree in psychology and originally I was planning to go all the way with that and then I just decided not to. So I actually started my YouTube channel with a contest entry for Trey Beck and it was around the time that I very first started getting reptiles. So I started doing that and I realized that I really really liked editing. It was the most fun thing that I've done in a while. Like I said I do like artistic things and I realized very quickly that it could be a fantastic artistic outlet for me. And I started just making videos every now and then because I was working full-time at the time and now, more recently, I've been making videos every single week and I'm still loving editing. Which that whole contest thing was actually really cool because I'm a very shy, reserved, nervous, socially awkward person. So getting that push was amazing. I've been watching YouTube since I was like 12, 13 and I've always wanted to do it but was very camera shy and I feel like I'm still pretty awkward in front of this camera but I feel like I'm getting better hopefully and I really enjoy it so I'm happy that I finally took that leap. I'm the absolute worst person to watch a TV series with. For some reason I forget that I like that TV series 
And even if last week it was my favorite show in the entire world, if I go a little bit without watching the next episode for some reason, I just forget that I liked it and I don't want to watch it. So it's a struggle getting me to actually sit down and continue watching that show. But as soon as I start watching it again, I remember that I like it. It's just a struggle. My absolute favorite kinds of movies are any action comedy movies. I love superhero movies. I love anything that's sci-fi or futuristic. We just watched Ready Player One and I absolutely loved that movie. But I can't really do anything that's like emotional, like, I don't know, The Notebook. I never watched that. I just can't. And I also can't do musicals. I know that the majority of people love musicals, but for me, it's just really weird because why are they singing as they go about their everyday lives. I don't know. It's weird for me. My absolute favorite food is hibachi. I love going to Japanese restaurants and sitting down and having them cook the food in front of me. I always get chicken and shrimp with fried rice and if they have yum yum sauce then I'm sold because that is the best food ever. I am an Aquarius and that basically fits me to a T. Any online thing that you read about Aquarius that's basically me. <laughs> but I do read my horoscopes every day just because I think it's really interesting that most of the time it fits what happens in my day. The 27th fact and the last fact is that my favorite number is 27. I don't know why it's always been my favorite number since I was a little kid. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no meaning behind it. I just really like the way 27 sounds I guess. <laughs> so yeah guys that's about it for this video. Like I said I wanted to do something a little more personal and a little different this week. I know that when I watch YouTube which is all the Tom. I like to know a little bit about the person that I'm watching so I wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about me and thank you guys so much again for almost getting me at a thousand subscribers that's absolutely crazy I know that that's not a huge number by YouTube standards but that's a thousand humans that want to sit down and watch the videos that I make and I think that is absolutely amazing so thank you guys so much again if you like this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below I put out new videos every single Sunday and as always thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day bye